Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave the land of the free and the heart Celebrate a nation that was Skyler Cole with tonight's national anthem performance. Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. With Brett Perry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Tobias Harris. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. And I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now we'll look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. We've got Maxi. Tobias Harris is out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's MB in at the five down low. And for Miami, backcourt guards are Lowry and Hero. Kevin Love out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Butler in for three. Now always fun to be here for a Christmas broadcast. There is a certain magic in the Greg of these games. Kevin, it's always special to play on a holiday. It, it just changes the energy entirely. The crowd, the mood of your fellow players, it's just all better. Tip-off goes to Miami. Drives from the block, and he nails the jump. Butler's got the first points on the scoreboard for Miami. Jimmy Butler is effective scoring on the inside, so it's going to give him some chances to open up on the perimeter, and right there took advantage. Now here's MB. Sweet move, and no good. Great D that time from Adebayo. Another pass to Lowry. Back to Butler. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Butler's got his second Butler there. Now the combo of strength and quickness from Butler, that's going to help him on the inside. For about one minute into the first, Beverly finds Covington. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Find the shoot. Beverly, the pass to Maxi. From outside, off the mark. And Zawawi will bring it up for the Miami Heat. The guys, this is the first they're seeing of Philadelphia this year. Two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. And guys, this first meeting always sort of sets the tone for how the rest of the season series will play out. The teams that know each other this well, this initial game is a big one. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Harris setting the pick for Beverly. Out to Harris. That's the free fly. Drills the three-pointer. Uh, working tirelessly on the stroke. Tobias Harris trying to find consistency with that shot. Outside Butler. Feeds it to Love. Pass to Lowry. Butler against Harris. 
That's good by Butler. Butler's got six points. Well, their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. And every time Brad they're written off, the Miami Heat have a of proving doubters wrong. You know, Kevin, it felt last year you kept waiting for when it was that the Miami Heat first was going to kick in. It started in the playoffs. I mean, that's how long it took. But man, barely escaped elimination in the play-in tournament. And for them to make it all the way to the NBA Finals just speaks a lot about that never-say-die mentality and their resiliency as a group. than most centers from the line. Embiid exceptional with his hand. The Heat have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Oh, they're feeling out of it. Hero on the wing. Oh, good on the triple. Not a problem. That's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Lowry against Beverly. Covington in the corner. Another three for Philadelphia. And we don't see Covington shoot from the corner a lot, but he looks confident bombing it from there. Adebayo with the screen on Beverly. I'll refine Adebayo. The D by B. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's an aggressive defense. Taxi on the win. On the pass to Covington. Back to Maxi. Covington setting the pick for Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Now, but this last outing he had 24 points. And that time, also a missed shot. Beverly against Lowry. Now here's Beverly. Not a lot of room. And they double up Embiid. And that one, good. Embiid's got his second basket of the night. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And Miami calls their first timeout of the game. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. so far this season the heat in second you know it's not necessarily a glamour stat but but make no mistake their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success on defense philadelphia six-point lead Lowry dishes to Butler. Passes it to Love. They need this. Bangs on the trifecta. 
stretch fours. That's Kevin Love right there. Terrific range and a great quick trigger on that one. And Brent, the thing you respect about Jimmy Butler, here's a guy with an old school mentality. Well, I love that he competes against the other team, Greg, but there's a part of Jimmy Butler, and we saw it a lot in the last two seasons, how much of a protector he is of the culture. Now, here's Butler. He's got six. Pocket six. Picks it out to love. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Where do you see him miss such an open look? Beverly, the pass to Covington. And Bede sets the pick for Covington. Miami grabs the miss. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And boy, did they impress everyone with that comeback they had in the fourth. Just stunned that crowd. Now, here's Butler. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. And tonight, he sends it right off the glass. The 76ers leading by three. Harris kicks to Beverly. Adebayo against Embiid. He had dropped for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Looming large on the interior. Embiid, hard to deny. And here is Butler. Adebayo with the screen on Harris. Here's Butler. The 15-footer. Good. Butler's got eight points. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Pass to Harris. Embiid with the screen on Butler to the paint. And we know how good Embiid is at drawing fouls, especially in the painted area. He welcomes the contact. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Uh, they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc. And so far, they are hitting at a high clip. So much good energy and flow tonight. And that has really come out a great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Well, the free throw drops for MB. Martin's checked in for the Heat. Josh Richardson comes in for Kyle Lauer. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And Love's got the ball here for the Heat. Four-point game. Pass to Hero. Outside, Martin. Good ball movement here by Miami. And slam dunk by Butler. On the attack, Jimmy Butler playing with that edge. Philadelphia's gone three or four on three corners in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Maxi passes to Covington. The Maxi. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Covington's shot is off. Well, he had gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. Love outside. The shot's good on the assist by Buck. Love's got a couple of threes now in the first with a heat. Well, because he's such a good scorer, people don't always talk about Jimmy Butler, the playmaker. Harris outside. From outside the arc, and he's good on the three ball. Harris has got his second bucket tonight. Well, you can see it's a matter of pride out there for these guys. Not always the best scenario, but in this game, pride takes over. You score on me, I'm going to come back and score on you. Now, here's Butler. Ten points for him. Up and in on the way. Butler's got the game tied up here for the Heat. Jimmy Butler is in the zone, and he keeps finding shots. Beverly against Hero. There's the steal. And here we go. Richardson heading to the hoop. It's hauled in by Harris. Philadelphia's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. 
And pass to Maxi. And here's MB. And they double up MB. Covington passes to Beverly. Beverly sets the screen for Harris. Beyond the arc. They grab their own miss. Maxi, no good. Miami's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Richards in the pass to Butler. Martin with a screen on Harris. Outside, Martin. No good from outside. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Harris looking it over. Here's Embiid. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Timeout called the Heat. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Sixers, Daniel House comes in for Tobias Harris, and it's the Anthony Melton in for Maxi. On defense, Philadelphia. They double up Butler. Six on the shot clock. The 15-footer. Butler's got 14 points. If Butler can't get into the paint, he's got some offensive options. He has the touch from the mid-range. It's Beverly on the wing. He's covered by Hero. There's MP. It's all in by the Heat. You're not going to see that very often. Do any of space, but he just has space and he whips on it. And Bryant pulls it down. Again, the long runs of Thomas Bryant getting the job done. The 76ers trail. Beverly the pass to Covington. And B pitch to Melton. To Embiid. Five on the clock. Over Bryant. And the shot goes in from Embiid. Embiid's got it all tied up now for Philadelphia. Domination. Plain and simple. Embiid isn't holding back and is giving the defense all he's got. Now, Hero. Turned in an outstanding game against Atlanta. Bryant. Good D by Embiid. Philadelphia's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Melton against Richardson. Melton passes to Embiid. Takes it out to Covington. That's good, and it's Embiid with the assist. 
good points. And now it's a three-point Philadelphia lead. Clock management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. Hot pass to Bryant, and the dunk by Bryant! Pretty good setup for Bryant. They just put it in the right spot. He did the rest. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Passes it to Covington. And beat inside. Defended by Bryant. Two points. That one goes. 14 points for Joel and B. Six of eight from the field. 75%. Just scoring the ball at will. Well, their passes to Martin. Richardson gets a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. A big time effort for Joe B. Providing a lot of energy for the Philadelphia 76ers. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. back to NBA action, a great tradition, Christmas Day basketball, here on 2K Sports. And guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. The 76ers leading by three. Martin is out there with Robinson. Then it's Tyler Hewitt. Then it's Josh Richardson. And it's Bryant in at the foul. So that's who might have starts the second with. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials with Greg. What was your approach with those conversations with referees? Well, Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. Here's Hero. Following the basket by Tyrese Maxey. Bryant with a screen for Hero. Over Maxey. Is good to the 76ers ladies, but now now it's just three on the bucket from Hero. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And Bead inside the line. And the rebound goes to Mark. Outside Robinson. Pass to Hero. Richardson outside. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Just five on the clock. Takes the three. Here's Bryant. A hell time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the lead. Bryant's got his third bucket of the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Three dishes to Embiid. Pass to Melton. Back to Embiid. Pass to Melton. Another three for Philadelphia. Nice job from Embiid. The big man showing off his vision there. Hero against Maxi. Now Hero. He's tightly guarded. At the elbow, it's Robinson. Outside, Hero. There's a screen by Grant. Count it, and the 76ers lead has been cut down to one, and the bucket from Hero. And Hero, early on in his career, finds himself in these big-time moments. Embiid against Bryant. Assertive move by Embiid. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Outside, Hero. Over Maxi. Hero, no good. 
and he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The knee out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room, the coaching staff, ownership, management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. Here's Hero. I learned the basket by Tyrese Maxey. Richardson outside. Ball's not loose. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Maxey on the wing. He's covered by Hero. And the dunk by Reed. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Hero from deep three-point territory. Miami no good on that time either. A 76ers leading by seven. Maxi with it. This game 26 points. To the left side wing. Here's Kurt Miles. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Outside, Hero. Brian, a screen on Maxi. Hero from long range. That's his fourth miss from the floor. He's made two of his shots. Pass it to Kirk Mods. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. How many times have we seen a possession take that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Here's Hero. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. But he threw it on him. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That's his first foul. And with this new in-season tournament, right, the NBA continuing to innovate. Are they getting the old two out there for you? Or do you like it? Listen, I think it pays to be bold. And I'll be one to admit, I was not a fan of the play-in. But I got to tell you, it's been a tremendous success. So, I've got to hope they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. I, I like their aggressiveness in that one. No one's going to give you anything. You've got to go out and take it. And going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Miami's gone 2 of 4 from 3 point range so far in the second quarter. Hero finds Martin. Here's Lowry. Outside Robinson. It's up a 3. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Maxie passes to Melton. Back to Maxie. Has to Reed. And the tough firing. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Pass to Robinson. And here's Adebayo, covered by Bamba. Fades back. The shot by Adebayo, no good. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. No, he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make him all, and he's for sure you want him taking that kind of shot. Melton against Hero. Martin. And he banks in the lane. Martin's got his first two points of the night. Hero knowing about the wins and the wares for an assist. Philadelphia leading by six. Melton feeling it out a bit. Here's the pass to Harris. Buries it down low. Harris has got eight points. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Lowry kicks to Hero. Here's Otto 
Doesn't get it to drop for him. Philadelphia's gone 6-12 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Bamba has screen on loud. Nancy with it. And it's Martin picking him up. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Caleb Martin. That's his first foul. That's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Butler, he's checked in for Robinson. Then for the 76ers, Joel Embiid comes in for Muhammad Bamba. And it's Patrick Beverly in for DeAnthony Melton. Beverly against Lowry. Embiid sets the pick for Beverly. Six to shoot. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Heat trail by eight. And the importance of Adebayo to this team cannot be overstated. Well, what they rely on most, Greg, you know, is the defensive impact that he's going to make. So selfless down there to throw his body around, block shots, get out and guard pick and rolls. And he does it so consistently for this squad. It gives them a chance to win every night because Bam's willing to do the dirty work. And Miami making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Martin, the pass to Robinson. Good on the triple. Robinson's got a pair of triples in the second half for the Heat. That's his specialty right there. His confidence firing off the catch is remarkable. Up top, MB. Back to Beverly. There's the three. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. A three-pointer off the mark. He's pulled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Now, here's Butler. He's got 14. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. And B with the steal. And here's the fast break. Here's Maxi. And Butler sends it back. And Butler, really, he's a two-way terror. I mean, that's the only way to say it. Sending that one back. Embiid dishes to Harris. Passes it to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Covington inside the line. Finds yet again. Here's Lowry. He had 13 points in the win against the net. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at. Where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebound and the floor. A tremendous performance there. Philadelphia with the ball. He knocking down the tray. Now Beverly. Still scoreless. And here's MB. And here's Harris from the arc. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside Lowry. Has to Autobio. From outside, it's hauled in by Beverly, and here's Beverly. He brings it up for the 76ers. Their biggest lead of the game was not. They can use a bucket. He takes it up and lays it in, and the 76ers lead by four. They are just killing them on the interior. While they're passing to Robinson, bounce pass from Lowry. Embiid against Adebayo. Here's Lowry. Busts the J after the KG passed it. Lowry's got his first points of the night. Just a smart play by Lowry, and he's running that pick and roll to perfection. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here.
and some changes here for the Heat. Love check in for Martin and Hero subbed in for Robinson. Embiid, the pass to Beverly. Pass to Maxi. Six on the shot clock. Embiid kicks to Covington. That's in, coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got three assists tonight. And you often find Robert Covington in the corner helping his teammates space the floor. Now here's Love. He's got six. Here's Butler, and the layup is good. Butler's got 16. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Beverly against Lowry. And there's the pass to Embiid. It's not going to go for him. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Philadelphia leading by three. Harris outside. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. No good on the three. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Now, here's Butler. He's got 16. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Lowry. Launches a three. No good. Puts up a deep three. He made it! He gets it to go! Wow! The score. Wow! What a way to finish up the court. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly. Take a chance. And somehow that one goes in. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. With a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? It's much different. Uh, I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. <laughs> well, it is a unique style. Jimmy, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Welcome to halftime, everybody. First on the menu is looking at what games will be coming up here shortly. And you look at the league. Shaq, you've said today's players are pudding pops, which, by the way, are delicious. Any other dessert-related put-downs? Great question, Ernie. Cupcakes, always good. Mm. Soft serve. Two on the nose, Kenny. Work on it. I'll come back to you. And now, guys, let's talk about that first half. The story thus far has been the play of one Joel Embiid. Embiid, you guys, embarrassing defenders. An electric performance for him tonight. He put this team on his back. All the love to the big man. He's getting it done in every way tonight. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. got second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession. Joel indeed has been sensational. In those first two quarters he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Yeah we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively. He's going to keep going at it. 
So on the floor for Philadelphia. Robert Covington out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Tobias Harris. Then it's Patrick Evans. And it's Maxi in at the two. For Philadelphia, they have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. The first one falls. drops them both. A uh, big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. They don't have to make those late substitutions. You put good guys on the floor. This is it the one. And the three ball is good. Love's got nine points. Precision shooting off the pass. Love takes no time letting that one go. Maxi passes to Covington. Kicks it to MB. It's a nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Right wing. And they double up in B. Outside, Maxi. The three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Adebayo's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Butler. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Pump fake can still be used. This just in. And Butler with a great up fake to keep the defense off balance. Shoot two. That free throw is good from Butler. Butler gives you so much toughness and determination. This guy can really impact what the culture of your team is all about. Both good from the line that time. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Covington. Embiid finds Beverly. Offline with his three. The Heat trail by three. Over in the corner, Hero. Outside Lowry. Pass to Butler. Shoots over Embiid. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Philadelphia's gone old 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Maxi against Hero. Maxi with it. Seven points in the game. There's Embiid. The 76ers again can't hit it. That's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. Lowry has the open look. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his fifth assist in this one. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Lowry against Beverly. That's to Embiid. And here's Covington from the yard. Miami grabs the miss. Butler's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. Now, Hero. He has five for the lead. And it's rebounded by Covington. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Here's Lauer. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Fades. Butler, no good. Yeah, 
I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Maxi passes to Embiid. Over out of bio. It's hauled in by the Heat. They can look forward to San Francisco after this game in a matchup against Golden State. Hit the road with that, the first of a five-game run. Now, Hero, his numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Four on the shot clock. Now rebounds well. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Harris. The 76ers leading by four. Axie passes to Covington. And it's in there. And that's 11 points for Robert Covington. Good to see Covington get in there and challenge the defense. And the Heat call time here. Check out some numbers for Tyrese Maxey. And right now, he's in one of those grooves where he has a tremendous feel for the game. His assist numbers these past five look a lot different than from the rest of the season. And by different, I mean better. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Heat. They trail by six. Adebayo with a screen on Harris. Butler kicks to Lowry. Love with a screen for Lowry. And again, it's the Heat missing. The 76ers leading by six. Harris passes to Maxi. The pass to Covington. To Maxi. Embiid with a screen on Buck. Here's Maxi. And a miss there on the triple. Miami's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Outside, Hero. Embiid against Adebayo. Pass to Love. They need this one. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Beverly deciding where to go with it. Embiid gets to Beverly. Second chance effort. And yep, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And the first one at the line is good. And MB drops them both. <laughs> and if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. The Anthony Melt. He's jacked in for Philadelphia. Oh. That's the 
some action. Pass to MB. Just five to shoot. With three, Harris. That's in. Coming off the assist from MB. Embiid's got four assists in the game. The Heat trail by 11. Now a timeout called by Miami. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows that they're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Richardson is checked in for the Heat. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. You take a look at Harris. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. We talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. Now, here's Maxi. After Tyler, Heroes miss. Here's Embiid. It's hauled in by Hero. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. 11-point game. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy Butler made some headlines a while back when he said he wished the NBA would allow more of the scrapping we saw in decades past. So would I. He says that would suit his game, though. Jimmy said, I want to run into people and see who falls down first, who's going to quit first. That's the style of basketball I like to play. Kevin? Uh, yep, you're right. And it shows, D.A., it shows. Thank you so much. And that one's good, Maxi. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up. In that situation. Now, Hero, well placed jumper from the free throw line. Hero's got his third basket of the night. And with that basket right there, it brings an end to that 12 0 run. And Embiid throws it down. And seeing a guy as big as Embiid being so fluid in terms of his movement, jaw dropping. Here's Hero, seven points in the game. Here's Adebayo. The pass to Love. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Andrew Covington picks one up. Love is confident when it comes to attacking the defense, especially when he gets closer and closer to the rim. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the 76ers. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up and boy have they and the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around that's how you rack up assists oh, 
No good on the second free throw. Well, this is what you get with Kevin Love. He can slide down to play the center position. And obviously, it's a great stretch for So that's some flexibility. Even from over here, you can see. This is his first free throw of the game. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? That's good from Harris. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. And Harris drops them both. The Heat trail by 14. Passes it to Richardson. Love outside. Here's Butler. Plays it up and dumps it in. Butler's got four points now in the quarter. Kevin Love, great recognition as to what was happening there. Saw the floor, saw the teammate, and saw the passing opportunity. Maxi against Hero. There's Covington. And the rejection by Love. Richardson outside. Back to Butler. Tipped away. And here comes the break. Pass to Melton. That one's not going to go. Good work defensively by Richardson. Miami's gone into a slug here from three-point range. Shooting just one of five here in the third. Kicks it out to Love. Butler on the way. Guarded by Harris. And it goes down two points. Butler's got 22. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Harris up top, defended by Butler. The feed to Embiid, over out of bio. Embiid, no good. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Here's Hero. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you gotta like the crafty approach there. Hero really good at keeping the defender off balance. For Miami, they have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shoot two. Good from Hero. And since entering the league, Tyler Hero has had higher expectations for himself than anybody else. And with that kind of size as a guard and his shooting ability, he very much will realize it. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Ryan's checked in for Otto Bayer. And Martin subbed in for Kevin Love. Allen falls, so he hits both of them. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. And the 76ers call time here. He saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset.
2K leaderboard, showing us the best passing teams in the NBA over the course of the last month. In fourth, the Heat. And, and what stands out during this recent stretch is just how well they pass the basketball. I mean, this is a club that has become really unselfish. Philadelphia has possession. Martin against Covington. Good ball movement here by the 76 ers Shot clock at six. Here's Melton. The 76 ers with another miss. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Butler catch to Hero. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Hero's got 12 in the game. Well, that equals his three-point total in the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Now, here's Melton. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Trying to end the drought, and B finds Melton. Coming to wide open, he fires. Nailed from three-point land. He's got 14. And Covington knows this is a big part of his role to knock down threes. Outside Butler. This is it for Bryant. And B with the steal. Here's Harris. And Jukies was coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Richardson. He's a good free throw shooter. Tobias Harris smartly looking to get in there and find some easy points from the line. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And he knocks down the first one. The Heat making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. And Harris drops them both. 110 left in the third quarter. Hero passes to Martin. Hero against Maxi. Hero, no good. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Outside, Covington. On the wing, Melton. Covered by Martin. Like it's six. 14 feet away. Melton, no good. There's nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Hero kicks to Richardson. Bryant with a screen on Harris. Richardson the pass to Bryant. And finish off by Bryant. Good recognition for Bryant to head right to the hoop. Maxie looking it over. with a screen on Hero. Bounce pass Maxi. Here's Embiid. That one drops for him. Embiid's got eight here in the quarter. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's just instinct. Just fan the point. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. A big time effort for Joel Embiid. Providing a lot of energy for the 76ers. He has really delivered at the offensive end. He's torched them for 24 points so far. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. With three quarters. 
quarters behind us. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And so loud we will bring it up for the Miami Heat. And a bio with Jenny with Martin next to him. Josh Richardson out there with Lowry. And it's Robinson. And at the three, the small forward. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. Morris, no good. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Robinson dishes to Richardson. Outside, Mark Cash to Autobio. In the corner, it's Richardson. Miami needs to get a shot on, and it's good for two. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here is House. Richardson cover. Reed will screen out low. Melton passes to Reed. And good tuck by Reed. And not only does he get all the way to the rim in traffic, but how about he goes to the reverse? You gotta be kidding me. That was awesome. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Out of bio to the screen for Martin. This one for three. And the Heat another three. When you look at Martin's numbers, he's not a volume three point shooter. He'd be effective from deep. Here is House. Richardson cover. Now the pass to Melton. Recoil. And it's Miami with the rebound. What about who's got rebound number nine now? What an effort here tonight. Robinson passes to Lowry. Misses the three. Philadelphia leading by seven. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Passes it to Reed. Morris with the ball. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Here's Lowry. Inside. Here's Martin. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got three assists tonight. And you make the next pass. Nice job by Lowry there. Here is House. Richardson cover. Lead a screen on Lowry. Here he goes. Melton. Out to Morris. Takes a three. It's the three-point pop. Morris. Morris has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Lowry looking around. Reed against Martin. Uh, and Martin doesn't fear anybody. He loves oh, challenging the defense on the inside and drawing fouls. First two And the first one drops. Caleb Martin is a classic high effort player using that athleticism to blast through defenses and taking that first step with no hesitation. Love check in for the Heat. Then for the 76ers, Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Muhammad Bamba. Harris comes in for Morris, and it's Patrick Beverly in for Daniel House. On both free throws, good for Martin. Philadelphia leading by six. Now Beverly, high post, MB, top of the key. And that one swishes right in. And Bede's got 26 points. Well, if you're open, Patrick Beverly is going to do his best to get you the ball. Has to auto buy him. Second shot opportunity. And it's Reed pulling the down. Bede's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Harris's shot is off. 
for Miami. They've gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. Lowry kicks to Love. Love with the screen for Martin. And it's Melton with the rebound. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Led by as many as 14 points. That one is good from Joel Embiid. He just knows where to go. Embiid positioning himself perfectly to get the putback. And here's Lowry. He gets out of bottle and does. Outside mark. Down to five on the shot clock. Lowry for three. Miami no good on that time either. Philadelphia leading by 10. Melton passes to Beverly. He gets to MB. Pass to Melton. Puts it up from 12. And the 76ers tack on two more. Miami's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Beverly against Low. Outside, Mark. Shot clock at six. Picks it out for Love. And by Beverly. And here we go. Beverly heading to the hoop. And he gets it to go. Beverly's got the lead up to 14 now for the 76ers. That's where Patrick Beverly's defensive tenacity helps you out active hands. And he knocks the ball away. Adebayo with the screen on Beverly to the middle. And B with the steal. Melton against Robinson. And the pass to Embiid. For the three. Miami grabs the miss. Ooh, just an easy chance to put some points on the board. You won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Lowry with the ball. Adebayo with the screen on Melton. To stop the run. Adebayo. It's good on the putback. Yeah, those possessions like zombies staying alive out there, courtesy of Bam Adebayo. Well, 76ers leading by 12. Now, here's Beverly. Here's MB. Great D that time from Adebayo. And he's shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Inside, here's Love. The shot's good on the assist by Love. Oh, he's got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, Love can hurt you down there. He uses his body as a shield, I'm creates not, the not. space. Got in tight. Finish that one. And the 76ers call time here. Subbed in for Duncan Robinson. Then for the 76ers, Robert Covington checked in for Paul Reed. And Maxey subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. 
With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. He told them it's all about maintaining the lead. He told them he knows it's easy to get comfortable when you're in this position, but that they need to keep the pressure on. Guys? Okay, David, much appreciated. And here are the 76ers led by as many as 14 points. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Now, here's Adebayo. I'll refine Tiro. Six on the shot clock. Here's Butler. And there's another one for the Heat. Well, he's such a good, gifted, all-around offensive player. Butler is somebody you can build a big strategy offensively around. Hero against Maxi. Here's Embiid. From the top of the key, he buries it. 30 points for Joel Embiid. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Side hero. Adebayo with the screen for hero. Here's the three. Good on the three point shot. Hero's got it back down to a single digit deficit for the Heat. Well, the catch and shoot is where Tyler Hero excels. Outside, Maxi. Here's Embiid. Joel Embiid scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. Mm, emphatic on the putback stuff. Our team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. And Covington gets it to go on the assist by Beverly. Beverly's got six assists now in the game. The Heat trail by 13. Now Hero. Covington with the steal. Embiid is at the elbow. And they double up Embiid. Maxi finds Beverly. Passes it to Embiid. Clock at four. Great tee that time from Adebayo. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Knocked away. And here we go. Here is heading to the hoop. Here's Covington. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Hero against Embiid. They get the rebound. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. Grabs the rebound again. He holds in his 20 rebound. Dominating the glass. Excellent Smart play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. And the Heat call time here.
The Heat trail by 15. And here's Love. Down low. Adebayo with the ball. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid. Beverly against Lowry. Now here's Beverly. Fires from 18. Can Embiid the bucket on the assist by Beverly. Beverly's got assist number seven for him tonight. Miami's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Adebayo with a screen on Harris. Butler finds Adebayo. To end the drought, and the layup is up and in. And it's eight points for Pam Adebayo. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for Philadelphia. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Joel Embiid. Just a force on the glass, did a fantastic job crashing the boards and coming up with seemingly every rebound. But the truth is they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this round. And Adebayo throws it down. That gives him the double-double. Ten points and 14 rebounds. At this point, they're just trying to get back and see. You want to play a good brand of basketball. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. The basket counts and one. They'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. And you've got to admire the toughness that Embiid plays with. He doesn't let fouls stop him from scoring. The free throw drops for MB. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Smith against Melton. Oh, and there's the alley oop. MB with the steal. Here's Melton. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Joel, we've heard in the past some people questioning your level of fitness. What's your response? You know, I'm just going to keep on doing what I've been doing this year and I've been healthy and uh, I haven't been injured and I'm going to try to keep that. I'm just trying to gonna keep that way. So. Well, whatever you're doing is working, man, so keep it up. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you for that, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Joel Embiid.